So what is the most awesome exercise for knee problems? Now it's gonna sound like I'm biased, of course, but bear with me and wait till the end of the video because I'm gonna give you some free advice. Read the disclaimer first though. So obviously I'm a chiropractor, obviously I'm a cyclist, and naturally I'm gonna say that cycling is the best exercise for knee problems. But let me tell you why and tell you how to do it if you don't wanna be you know, riding a bike like what I'm doing right now. Number one, I've been doing this for 25 years and I've seen a lot of runners and what are they always coming in with knee problems so let me quickly summarize and tell you how to solve knee problems when it comes to running if you should so choose to run number one the num the knee is usually taking the brunt of the forces that is a where the problems are are in the hips and the feet so the first thing i do is i look at the feet you need good arch support, you need good shoes. Whether you wanna go minimal and run in Vibram Five Fingers or a Hoka or an Ultra, it's almost personal preference, but I could usually tell a patient based upon their problems what the best shoe would be. For example, I had a patient come in and he had been doing a lot of running because he was in the military and he wanted to know if ultras would be good for him. And he had the most narrow feet you can imagine. So I told him no. So sometimes a little bit expert opinion can go a long way. However, um, sometimes for some people it's just trial and error. So usually it's the feet. I will adjust the feet, give patients exercises for the feet and good supportive shoes often does wonders the second thing is and you'll see this all over the internet is glute strength so clamshells abductions bridges doing all these things with a cord around your knees those are all beneficial but there's one missing link and I appreciate you for staying this long on the video because here it is it's the adductor magnus and that will play a bigger role in solving knee pain than all the other things put together. People have trigger points in them. People have weakness in their adductor magnus. So just use the search function and you could find those exercises. Now, knee pain and running. There have been some studies that have shown that running does not cause osteoarthritis. And that is true because they studied healthy subjects who were runners over time. But osteoarthritis is not just a running issue. Many people get arthritis that have never been runners at all. And what you may be surprised to learn is that osteoarthritis sometimes can be a genetic, there's a genetic component, there's a nutritional component, there's a forces component, and this is where your weight comes in. If you weigh 250 pounds and you already have osteoarthritis, knee pain might be an issue. So this is where cycling comes in. Now check this out. I'm going up a hill. Watch, check this out. Look what I'm doing here, okay? My knees are going through a range of motion and I'm using my muscles but you can see there's no compression of the joint imagine if I ran and I weighed 250 260 pounds already with osteoarthritis my knees would hurt and so what do you do how do you get in shape well let me tell you this just like I said I've been seeing a lot of patients with running injuries and primarily it's the knee but you solve it through foot and hip treatment cyclists a lot of them don't have knee pain in fact the group that i ride with on weekends there are a tremendous amount of older people now of course when i say older they're older than me 
Now a lot of them used to be runners. And as they got older, into their 40s, 50s, after a couple knee surgeries, guess what happened? They finally came to grips with the fact that maybe they can't do this anymore. Well, the biggest problem with stopping is all of a sudden, you know, besides gaining weight, the real issue is emotional. Like they were runners, that's who they were. And they competed and now there's nothing left. Well, a lot of these older folks, they get on a bicycle and guess what? All of a sudden, their knees actually feel better. Here's a test question for you. If you've ever had knee surgery, whether it's arthroscopic or an ACL or an MCL, you go to physical therapy, right? What's the first thing those physical therapists are doing to you? They're getting you on an exercise bike. That range of motion of bending and and bending and bending and bending your knees with muscular contraction without compression is the secret to having very little knee pain. So these old guys, you know, they all of a sudden they discover the bike and like, wow, I could enter races, I could do time trials, you know, you could do crits, you could do gravel rides and suddenly their pain is gone and they feel like a kid again. Okay, so Let's get into it now. So what do you do if you're afraid of riding a bike? You're afraid of getting hit by a car. You're afraid of falling. You don't want to ride a bike, but you want the benefits of less knee pain. Here's what you're going to do. You can either buy a Peloton. You can buy another uh, type of product like that. You can get a cheap indoor bike. You can get a recumbent bike where you sit down and lean back and do almost like a lazy boy chair. So just the fact that your knees are moving is enough to reduce your pain. So you do not have to ride a bike like what I'm doing today. That's not necessary. So again, it sounds like I'm biased, like I'm of course gonna say cycling because cycling is what I love to do, but that's not the reason. The reason why is just because of my clinical experience and knowledge of the pathomechanics essentially of osteoarthritis. We know how it develops, we know how you got it, we know what nutritional protocols to use, we know the exercises to do, and we know the exercises not to do, and sometimes it's hard to do all those things on a patient or for a patient. So if you're looking for the best exercise that you can do, it's some type of range of motion with very little joint compression, with a lot of muscular contractions, and that, my friends, is your best bet. So if you thought this was an interesting video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions or comments, you can ask in the comment section below. If you have found something that is beneficial for your knees and you want other people to know what they are, then just leave a comment down below so other people can actually read your comments and we can all share and, and improve, and that way maybe a lot more people can have a lot less knee pain.